Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on trigonometry. So we go straight to our problem. Calculate the value of x and of y and hence find the area of the shape below. So we have a two right angle triangles here. Now to calculate x, we look at the larger right angle triangle. So we are going to make use of the trigonometric ratio popularly known as Soka Tua. Here we are giving the opposite and the adjacent. This is the hypotenuse. We now look at the trigonometric ratio that combines the opposite and adjacent and that gives Toa. So that we now have tan 52 degrees is equal to opposite. That's going to be X over adjacent. And our adjacent is 8. So making x the subject of the relation, we have x is equal to 8 times tan 52 degrees. And tan 52 degrees is 1.280. So multiplying out this, we have 10.24 centimeters, giving us the value of x. Now to calculate y, we look at the smaller right angle triangle. And here we have calculated the value of x to be 10.24 centimeters. And here is y and we know the hypotenuse. We're going to apply Pythagoras theorem. So since we are looking for y, we have y squared is equal to the square of hypotenuse minus the square of x and our x is 10.24 so we have it minus 10.24 squared this is evaluated as 144 minus 104.8576 subtracting this we have 39.1424 since y squared is 39.1424 Therefore, y will be square root of 39.1424, which gives 6.256 centimeters. This is to four significant figures. And that's all for x and y. And we are to calculate the area of the shape. So to calculate the area of the shape now, we are going to find the area of the large triangle and add it to the area of the small triangle. Remember, this is their common height, which is 10.24 centimeters. We still know area of a triangle is half base times height. So for the large triangle, we have half times the base. The base here is eight. So times eight, then times 10.24 taking care of the area of the large triangle, then plus the area of the small triangle. Our base here is y, and we've calculated y to be 6.256. So that we now have half times 6.256 multiplied by the common height, which is 10.24. So taking care of the area of the smaller triangle. Simplifying this, we are going to have 40.96 plus 32.031. After simplifying, half times 6.256 times 10.24. So adding up this, we have 72.991 square centimeters, representing the area of the shape which is comprising of two right angle triangle of different dimensions. That's the end of solution to the problem and this is the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Until we come your way again, goodbye.